I'd like to describe to you a uh, experiment published in the Journal of Chemical Education by Aikimoto and Saitao. They describe how to use household materials to observe the uh, dissolving of uh, copper ions from a copper electrode. Uh, what you'll need to do this experiment is some household ammonia, a diaper, medicine dropper, uh, some cups. One of them should uh, be filled with some deionized or distilled water that you can buy from the grocery store. Two copper wires, a 9 volt battery, some tape, and a plate. Uh, preferably with a white background that's going to help you see the dissolution of of the copper. Now the first part of this experiment is going to be to extract uh, sodium polyacrylate from the diaper. And here's how this is done. You simply rip open the diaper. And then you want to take the pad that's in the middle and we want to rip that out too. And when you do that and turn it upside down, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just rip it, let's see, all the way here and all the way here. And I'm going to turn this upside down. And those crystals that fall out are crystals of sodium polyacrylate. And we're going to collect those crystals and make a, a gel. Uh, by adding water. So we're going to collect these crystals and you can see as I collect them you can also see that there's some diaper filling. Uh, it's useful to get rid of some of the, the cotton from the diaper filling and just leave the sodium polyacrylate crystals as much as possible. Alright. So I'm going to take those, I'm going to put those into this cup here. And it looks like there's a little bit of cotton left over, so I'm just going to kind of extract a little bit more of the cotton. And I'm pretty sure all I have left are these sodium polyacrylate crystals at this point. Now I'm going to take some of this water. This is, this is deionized water, but you can use distilled water that you buy from the grocery store. And I'm going to pour that in to this cup here. I'm going to pour it about half full. And I'm going to just stir it with one of my copper electrodes I'm going to use later. And this needs to be let set undisturbed for 15 minutes. Alright, I have a fairly thick gel now. I'm going to take that and pour that into the white plate. Spread that around. Well, that's really thick, isn't it? I'll just kind of pat it down. There we go. Just enough so we can cover the copper electrodes that we're going to put in. Okay. Get that nice and even. I know I'm probably contaminating an experiment, but you'll have to forgive me, I guess. Okay. Now I'm going to take my two copper electrodes and I've bent them so that they'll go into the uh, into the gel mixture but this part will um, be up over the top of the lip of the plate so that I can set the battery here like that. Alright, I'm going to put this one in about a centimeter away from the other one like that. I want to make sure those are covered. So let's just put a little bit more gel in there. Just enough to make sure they're covered. Okay. And now I'm going to tape them down into place with some electrical tape. All right, now this side of the uh, electrode, this electrode I'm going to connect to the positive part of the battery. 
whereas this side is going to get connected to the negative portion of the battery. To the side that's going to be connected to the positive terminal, I'm going to add some ammonia. Now, the reason why I'm doing this is because the, it is the positive terminal of the battery that's going to rip electrons off of this copper electrode that I'm adding the ammonia to. That's going to form copper ion. So electrons are going to be stripped off of this electrode, forming copper ion. That copper ion, copper 2, reacts with ammonia to form a deep blue complex, cop, uh, tetraammonium copper 2. I'm going to go ahead and attach the battery and sort of watch what happens here. Okay, the battery's connected. Electrons are being stripped from this electrode, forming copper 2 ion. Those electrons are going over to this side, and you can see a difference. I can actually see uh, this actually electrode looks a little more uh, coppery. What's happening over here is the electrons are going into the gel. Those electrons are actually hitting the water in the gel, and the water is gaining those electrons and forming hydroxide ion and also hydrogen gas. So you might be able to see some bubbles there. I already see a little bit of green-blue discoloration forming on this electrode over here. Now if you really want to see the production of hydrogen gas over here a little better, there's a couple things you can do. I'm going to add a little bit more water to the gel. Get them right here. Because right now it's kind of tough to see those bubbles. I'm going to add the water. And I know I'm going to disturb the experiment a little bit here, but this is just kind of fun if I can get this to work. Right? You can see what's going on a lot better now. Second thing you can do is add a little bit of salt. Now while the sodium polyacrylate itself, remember that's the portion of the diaper that, uh, that we extracted to help form the gel, that right now is acting as the electrolyte. Uh, so as electrons are flowing this way, there needs to be negative charge flowing this way to complete the circuit. And the uh, acrylate portion of the sodium polyacrylate is, is serving that function. But if we want to pick things up a little bit, it's okay to just add a little bit of salt in between the electrodes. And that is going to really pick up the current of the flow of electrons. I'm add a little bit more water again so I can sort of see the bubbles a little better. I'm actually just trying to get a bunch of bubbles to be produced over here on this side. Boy, I can really see those bubbles turn on now. Those bubbles are hydrogen gas. And what's fun is if I can get those bubbles to grow big enough, like maybe some of them over here are, you know, those bubbles are full of, of hydrogen gas. And hydrogen gas reacts with oxygen gas, and there's oxygen gas in the atmosphere. So it's not happening now because the hydrogen gas isn't warm enough, but if we get it warm enough here, you might be able to hear uh, a tiny explosion as the hydrogen gas reacts with oxygen gas in the air to form water. Let's try this here. Hear that little pop? That's a tiny explosion. That's the hydrogen gas that's being produced reacting with oxygen gas in the air uh, to form water. So that's sort of a, a chemical test of the identity of the gas that's being produced over here. Looks like there's quite a bit of bubbles forming over here. Let's see if I can't get this once again. There's a big one. So you can hear these tiny explosions. Pop, pop. That's, oh, there's a big one. Let's get that guy. Hydrogen gas. Reacting with oxygen gas in the air to form water. So there you have it, an interesting experiment to do uh, where you can use household items to show the dissolving of a uh, copper electrode through electrolysis.